everyone. How are you guys? Welcome back to Amore Fabrics. If you have not uh, subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I put together some beautiful packs for you guys. I've had a lot of time, um, obviously, with what's going on in our world to play with fabrics, to uh, plan, get some ideas out there flowing kind of thing, and to try to put something together that is quality and affordable for you guys. So I put together these packs where you get to choose your junk journal cover color. And obviously you can see I have a lot of colors going on here. These are complete junk journal kits. So pretty much just the cover kit, I guess you can say. I have two different options right now. I'm just going to show you guys today, which these will be in the, in the shop right now. These are going to be $30 and then it is free shipping US. Now if you're international, don't worry. Just message me prior to purchase. I have a coupon code for you, which I'll give a percentage off that is equal to the same amount of the savings for those here in the U.S. So these are lightweight. So um, these are under six ounces for the international friends. I know anyone international, if it's under eight ounces, it's a big savings and it's a great um, bracket to where shipping won't cost as much. There's <laughs> That's the ice machine. It's, yes, we have an ice machine. <laughs> we go through ice like crazy. So that's that. What I did is I have a bunch of India fabrics that were embroidered and woven into this beautiful pieces. I'm going to go over each one so you can see each color. And um, I had cut them to fit. So what I did is I cut them 10 inches by 13 inches. So when you do quilt these together, that it will be a 9 by 6 inch journal for you guys. And what's cool about it is that being that it is unfinished, you are able to, um, yeah, I'll go over each one for you. You are able to design it any way you want. For instance, that's why I love it. This is just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look how they had, they had fused the back with a nice thick cloth of this fabric. So it's really nice and thick. So when you're doing a soft journal, it is going to be, this here is just plenty itself. But in the kit, I provide you the inside fabric to match with a zipper option, which I'll go over that here in a minute. But anyways, back to what I was saying, they had fused this together and it's really stiff and then they hand stitched these pieces in with this kind of like yarn in between. So um, what I was saying earlier is I made them 10 inches by 13 inches, giving you a half inch sew line all around it. And you can choose, say, hey, maybe I want the front to look like this or my front to look like that or you can turn it the opposite way kind of thing and you have choices kind of thing so isn't it absolutely beautiful this is the blue and I'm gonna put these aside here in a minute but you're gonna get a bunch of things with each one inside each one is a liner that I had provided and it's a nice piece here watch this like the blue matches the blue there's a zipper already sewn in so what if you don't want a zipper on the inside of this? At least you have enough fabric that will fill the inside of this guy. Fine. But you can adjust it on your own to say, hey, I want a zipper on the inside pouch. You can sew it together, obviously right sides facing. Leave that zipper open. You can sew all around the entire four sides here without having to have an opening to turn it through. Just open up that zipper. <laughs> fold it to the right side and your inside you're going to have a zipper. So you have choices. You have an inside zipper or a choice if you don't want an inside zipper you just want a solid fabric piece um, which is quite nice. And in each kit I've given you guys a nice strip of the same kind of embroidered pieces. Say you might want on the inside you might want a pocket. So when you fold this over maybe you want a pocket on the inside instead of that or use these for whatever pieces that you can cut up for um, inside your project kind of thing but they're just absolutely gorgeous so each kit will have that and then I have the embroidery floss that will match the color of the piece that you have a full thing of that and of course since this is blue you will have a blue tin that looks like this it will close it's aluminum just like this and um, I, the reason why I did aluminum is because it's lightweight and plus I love the tin where you can travel with it say whoops sorry I'm shaking my table RV life guys so if you're traveling say you're doing what have you like I live in RV life right now it's 
all together in one little tin kind of thing. But in the tin, you're going to get, like this is blue, we'll go with blue, um, the hardware, such as the, um, move this right over, sorry guys, my table, it's so different, I'm so used to having an office to where I don't have to worry about um, any of those kind of things. Where's my hook? Okay. So pretty much you have the, um, the lanyard hook and then the hoop, the ring here. Say if you want to make a tassel, you can, which I'll show you the pieces I added to this. Then you're going to have a cute little bead pack that matches. Say if you want to put these on your tassels or add the little pieces to your project kind of thing. All that bouncing around out there. Sorry, guys. My husband is um, doing project outside. And when you live in an RV, um, you hear everything. So, you know. Okay, so far as the tassels, I have this trim piece pack. Sorry, guys trim piece pack. Um, it was borders of things that you can either unstitch or make them long, but I kept them all together. Look at this. You can put these pieces together, put them on that hook, wire wrap them kind of thing, fringe these as much as you want. You got yourself a tassel you can mess with. Um, they will all match the colors that are of these pieces that you have in here. And sorry, the table's moving everywhere. I apologize. I'm trying my best, guys. And then each pack will have a tie. Look at this or tie. Isn't that gorgeous? I thought it'd be really cute to even put little beads. Split this, tie a knot if you want to at the ends, tie a bead on there too, or a bead on each end kind of thing. You press pause for a little bit. My husband's just making noises all over. Okay, so you guys obviously seen blue. That is a choice. So what all you have to do is down below is a direct link to my shop. Click on that link. And um, when you go to the listing, uh, you'll see these covers there displayed just like this in the photo. Uh, click on that, and there will be a drop-down menu to pick out your color. I have labeled each one, so you kind of know. Um, it doesn't matter which one you pick. The, the designs on them are just absolutely beautiful. It's just like it reminds me of the Canta quilts. It's like regardless what you choose, they're going to be beautiful, I promise. Um, but let me move these guys out of the way, and I'll show you pink. Then I have a green which is absolutely gorgeous. And then we got purple, which is, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys each one. And you got yellow. And then we have a black. That's so pretty, isn't it? We go into like the neutral tones. We got the creamies and the beiges. And then we got the browns. And then we got reds. So I'm gonna move these guys over here. And then we got reds. All right, so let me move these guys down. All right, as you guys already seen was the blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. I can kind of bring it up there a little bit closer for you to see. You do have, like I said, it is 100% embroidered and beaded. And again, I love how thick this is. It's gonna be an awesome sewing project for you guys. Um, it's gorgeous and you can't beat the price, $30 guys. Includes shipping. All right, here's pink. Here's one of many pink. Here's that. Let me open this guy up for you. Inside again, like I said, let me open up pink like that. You get a strip like this for a pocket or whatever else you're going to be using. I think a green will look good with the tie of the pink. It's got like this silver tone into it. Of course, pink embroidery floss. It would be either like a green or red. Depending on when I put these together, I will match whatever the bead pack will go with each kind of thing. Here's the tassel kit, which I'm curious on what you guys are going to do with this, with this strips, how you're going to cut these down. I figured you could just cut them right down the middle and take your fingers and fringe them. I think it'd be really, really cool. I am not sure. Again, you got the fabric with the zipper in it. This would be great liner for the inside. Let me go ahead and get to the next one for you guys. Okay, here is green. I wish my lighting was a little bit better for you guys. Let me go ahead and just, here we go. Again, there's so many different colors of green. I don't know if you guys are seeing this correctly. Um, my camera looks different, but it's a beautiful garden green the reds and the purples and things like that. We got the paisleys. Again, we got the green fabric for the inside liner. You got the strip 
um, of the embroidery tassel things to match. This one I thought gold. A gold wrap would be really cool. Look how beautiful that gold is. And then green floss. And I'm more than positive. It would be the green beads that will go with that and that whole little trim kit. That is such a cute little pack. All right, let's go ahead and go to purple. One of my favorites. Okay, here is purple. Let's go ahead and open purple up. Look how gorgeous. Again, like I said, it's just perfect soft cover for you guys. Plenty of room to do your sewing around. Here's the tassel. I put a little white in this one. Figured it would match some of the white going on in there with the pink and gray um, wrap. I figured it would go, look good with this. A little bit of purple color to it. Purple embroidery floss. We got the purple liner with the zipper. Of course, it looks blue on this camera, but this is a deep purple. I hope you guys are seeing it. This purple matches actually this purple in here. This looks blue on the camera. I'm not sure why. So, and then another strip of beautiful, it's one, two, three, four, about four to five like swatches pretty much in a row for you guys for a packet. All right, let's go ahead and check out yellow. All right, yellow truly screams garden. Now, if you guys are wanting a larger kit, I do offer the kit that's going to be, there's going to be another listing next to this one. If you're wanting ephemera to go with it, I have a garden fairy pack that has almost 100, I think 100 plus pages with fairies and all kinds of other things, all vintage, of course. You guys know my packs are pretty packed with ephemera that you can get with this. Um, of course, the fee is going to be a little bit more. These are 30, and I imagine the other ones will be around near 40. But again, free shipping for you guys. You also have the option to choose travel themed. I think I have 12 Garden Fairy and then 12 Travel. It's up to you if you're wanting ephemera. But if not, I figured some people just want the kit just for garden themed, you know, just or just like these kits too. Uh, without even needing ephemera. But if you're looking to stock your ephemera, take a peek and see what's available. Look how pretty. This is my favorite one. It's just gorgeous. So there is yellow. And then, of course, I did the pink and gray strap. It's the tassels. I love the fact that when I cut the packs that some of the, the glittery pieces are on the, the tassels for you. Of course, yellow embroidered floss go with the yellow. The yellow backing and then the yellow trim that you can use for your project. And I'm sure it's going to be the gold and yellow bead pack. But if it has a lot of pink in it, I'll add the pink. Um, but if you're really specific on what you're wanting, just give me a message. I am pretty easy peasy. I'm not going anywhere these days. I'm here just packing along. So let's go ahead and go to the next one really quick. I think the next one, ah. Oh, one another one of my I say these are my favorites but here's another favorite the black I never thought I would really be a huge fan of the black color um, but I'll tell you what this is gorgeous now don't worry guys if the kits run out I have more fabrics as long as you give me a couple of weeks to pack them up and get more put together just message me if you feel like you missed out don't worry message me I'll put you on a list and you can tell me what color and I'll make you a pack personally just for you. All right, here's the tassels things um, along with the black in there as well. Black embroidery floss. The gold trim definitely looks good with this. There's another one of those strips to go with it. And then the black liner with the zipper. Oh, look how gorgeous. Don't you guys agree? Black, who would have thought? It's just gorgeous. Just just truly gorgeous guys. I know you guys are going to make some beautiful journals out of this. Um, the next one I have is red. Oh gosh. And then we go into the neutral colors, which are really cool. Red is awesome as well. I guess I just like them all. Look at this. Now, if you're talking gypsy boho, this is it. I'll tell you my camera camera's going to go crazy doing all kinds of things with all these colors. Isn't that totally boho? Reminds me of bag lady. Am I able to say that being offensive? I hope that's not offending anyone. Carpet bagging, you know, carpet bag. That's what it just reminds me of. Anywho, of course, I'm sure we'll do like the red beads and the pieces. Ooh, look at, we have so many choices. It could be red, green, or blue. If you're like I said, if you're picky, just message me. I'll just switch it out. Whatever I put in there, I'll just put it in there randomly. So uh, red. And I really like the green strap. Well, the camera's showing it green, but it's really pretty. 
the red backing and then you got your tassels to go with it. All right, these are the neutral colors. All right, my, my, uh, my screen's like popping in and out. Like I said, missing my office. I miss the, um, the lighting I had. Pretty soon we'll be into the next place, which is going to be soon. It's just patience, right? Not all things come in the time you want sometimes. It'll be done ready soon. I'm hopeful. Um, a few more weeks, I hope. So this is brown. If you're looking for the brown tones, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. I think this would be awesome with the uh, uh, travel themed, I think. Travel thing, I think some people get mistaken about travel theme. I know it's called travel as if you're traveling, but the ephemera that's in the travel pack, if you want the larger pack, um, has all kinds of things that is similar to mostly travel, but it has things that could go pretty much with everything. It's not as florally and garden butterflies and all that. So if you're interested in that with tickets, so you got the brown. Got your, your tassel trim pack to play with. Isn't that pretty? Totally neutral. And then you got your backing, the zipper that goes with it. Now the last one is totally elegant. I could totally see making it into like a wedding journal. It's just like so elegant. And stay tuned, guys, because the last thing I was going to show you, I do have swatch packs in the shop again all embroidered and beaded like this along with the thick backings and a lot of times you get swatches that are really sheer and it's hard to work with but these have the same fused backing as these um, fabrics that I just showed you which is going to be absolutely nice to work with when it comes to layering, collaging um, and sewing together to whatever you're making kind of thing. So I'll go over those here at the very very end but those swatch packs are in the shop and like I said there's those are always limited because it's hard to get a whole bunch of those but when I do I do I hope the camera shows the beautiful maybe my backdrop might be kind of too light to show it but it's so elegant so so very elegant I go a little slower I haven't been on camera in so long that it feels like I am out of place usually I'm like easy at it but I'm trying. Again, I love the elegant gold. Figure went really well with that. Then you have these guys. Pretty. The white backing. The white floss. And this here. And I think there goes my ice machine again. <laughs> that thing is amazing. If anyone doesn't have that, I'm, I'll tell you about it. I just ask. So I went with this. But if you're particular, like I said, on the beads, I went with the silver and like these are plastic, but they look like they're glass. Reminds me of like the prisms and stuff, the glass crystal prisms kind of thing. But I have those in there instead. But I thought elegant as possible. But I, I don't know. Like I said, if you have a specific you know, request, like say, hey, I want gold instead kind of thing, just let me know. All right, let's go check out these swatches. And then you guys run over the shop, grab what you want. Like I said, I have these here, which are $30. Um, that ship for free. Um, international people, please just message me. I'm here to help all you guys. So it's my best bet is to try to make sure everyone around the world can get the same treatment. I know international shipping can be so pricey, but at least I can help credit it somehow, some way kind of thing. Okay, swatches. I'm kind of far, far away. I'll go a little slow. So pretty much all the fabrics that you've seen there had leftover pieces. So what I did is they're like three by four or five and sometimes bigger and um, I just cut them off the side and I put them into packs so I figured you guys might be able to use those for your project so those packs are available I think they're packs of 15 um, I'm not sure exactly the price guys um, you have to run over the shop I'm sorry I forgot about that price and how cool that is so you can kind of see um, I have a limited supply of those, like I said. I really wanted to make sure the journal covers for you guys were a great size. Thank you guys for those who follow me on uh, Facebook, the Facebook group. If you don't, down below is the link. Click on our Facebook group, join us. Um, I did ask the question the other day, what size junk journal cover for a soft cover like this would you guys find the best? 
and typical uh, people said a six by nine. What I knew is if I was going to cut this fabric, um, I don't want to cut it six by nine because I want to make sure you can be able to sew it to fit a six by nine after it's sewn together. So I gave an additional half inch, well, pretty much an extra inch on uh, uh, both sides, but a half inch, all corners. Um, I think I said that wrong, but <laughs> either way, so I made them 10 by 13. So then it would fit your six by nine just fine, guys. All right, so run over, grab your packs while you can. Great prices. Um, it's U.S., so it ships fast in the U.S., but um, hope you guys absolutely love that. That was a lot of fun. Usually when I put my kits together, I have a tendency to rush, rush, rush. Um, I find these days there's a lot going on that I've slowed down considerably. As you guys have noticed here on YouTube, I haven't been doing videos, particularly because I, I have very limited Wi-Fi here in the RV world. Even though we have our phone service, we are able to um, use the mobile hotspot and things like that. Um, but that still <laughs> still um, has a tendency not to be enough. So, again, I thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying these beautiful pieces that I have put together. Um, they are all actually finished. So if you buy today, they either ship today or the following day. It will be fast shipping. It is the weekend, so um, it has a tendency to not ship on the weekend unless it's priority, but this is free shipping, so it's probably going to be uh, ground or flat rate. It is lightweight, so um, it will probably will not be as speedy as normal things because I'm offering the free shipping. But um, other than that, there you guys have it. I hope you love the packs I put together. Again, if you're wanting the ephemera pack to go along with this, it's in the shop. I'm not showing you the ephemera. You guys pretty much have an idea of what my packs are like. And if not, check out some of my older videos. When I say it's packed, it's packed. So I have the garden fairy option, and we have the travel theme that will go with. You can pick out your journal cover like this, and you get to pick out um, travel or garden kind of thing. All right, guys. You guys have a blessed day. Until next time. Bye, guys.